Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we are going to be discussing some Supreme pieces that I picked up. I've been a bit behind but this is the most recent week which we are now at Supreme week five but I will be going back and talking about some pieces I picked up from Supreme week one. Uh, so we'll go through show you some images and the fit on those items I picked up but also we're gonna backtrack as we go through other older weeks of items that I didn't shoot uh, and then I obviously did pick up a few pieces from this uh, drop for Supreme Week 5. So we'll start off with going through the items I picked up uh, then I'll go through some of the items I picked out from previous weeks and you'll be able to see kind of what these items look like on me and I'll talk about a bit of the sizing. Then we will go through the sellout times for week 5 and discuss what items went the fastest uh, and then we can dabble a little bit in the resell on some of the Supreme Week 5 items. All right so let's jump into it. Uh, starting actually you know we'll talk about uh, Supreme Week 1. So the reason that I haven't actually posted a video is because I was in Florida and some items I shipped to Florida thinking I would still be there and then I had to get them shipped back from Florida back to uh, New York. So it's been a long process but I finally was able to shoot those t-shirts. Uh, for those of you wondering the size that I copped, I copped a few different color options in the size medium and a few in the size small. So we'll go through the video now so you can kind of see how those uh, box logo t-shirts fit and you can see the different color variations that I was able to cop. So uh, next up is Supreme Week 4. So I have honestly been awaiting this Tamagotchi. I grew up having a Tamagotchi and I was so excited when I saw that Supreme was going to be doing a collaboration. I honestly don't even know where my old Tamagotchi is. I've definitely killed my poor little pet. Oh, Gigapet was the other one. I was like, what was the other competitor? So there's Gigapet and Tamagotchi, and I had them both, but I wasn't really good at keeping them alive. So now that I'm an adult, maybe I can actually keep this alive more than a day. This is really cool because it's got this really cool camo print in pink. There were some other color variations. I just thought that the pink was just more down my alleys. All right, so now let's open this up and check out this Tamagotchi. Exactly the same little cute size I remember. You just can attach these on your keychain, but I love this camo print. It's got Supreme's little box logo here. And then I'm assuming that once I remove this, it will actually turn on. Uh, and we've got our little buttons here. So typically, if I remember correct with the Tamagotchi, you have to stay on top of really taking care of this. Um, I don't know if any of you had to like watch a potato when you were in health class, but I remember we had like these potatoes and we had to like make sure the potatoes survived like a child. Well, this is very similar to that. Um, again, it looks like uh, there's no Supreme branding on the back, but we do have just a nice kind of print on the back in that nice uh, pink color way. And then we've got our little book here that I think is in Japanese <laughs> and English and other parts. So uh, we will connect this in a little bit, uh, but just really cool toy from back in my childhood days. So uh, if you grew up in that generation with Tamagotchis, definitely have to snag one of these if there are still any available, but I'm so excited to turn this bad boy on. All right, now moving along, the other item that I was able to cop for Supreme Week 4 are these cute little pocket towels. Uh, so I'm gonna take these out just so you can get an actual idea as to how tiny these are. 
I knew these were gonna be small. I just wasn't sure like how small they were gonna be. All right, let's see if I can actually get this open. All right. So we've got these cute little pocket towels, which I feel like will be extremely useful. Uh, look how adorable these are. They're so small that it doesn't fit the entire Supreme name on them, but it's really cute. So you've got one black and one red, and you can just take these little towels with you. How cute are these? Let me see if I can actually hold them both up. They're very little adorable little pocket towels. So these towels were $18. The Tamagotchi was $48. And now we can get into Supreme Week 5, which was the most recent drop. Let me just get scissors so I can open this up. These actually released earlier. Um, I wasn't able to cop these, they sold out. I have been honestly in need of some new glasses. So I was so excited to see that these actually re-released again. And uh, they come in a pack of six, but this I think is gonna be my new cute little coffee mugs. They're so adorable. Aren't those so cute? And I love that they're clear and it's got the Supreme box logo there. We'll see after how many washes. Hopefully that Supreme won't actually get screwed up in the wash. Uh, but these are such cute little cups and I love that they gave you a pack of six. All right. Next up is the in and out hoodie. So this released in different colorways. I only honestly wanted the olive tone. I thought it was the coolest color combination. So this is an inside out hoodie. As you can see, it kind of would be the interior of a hooded sweatshirt. And then underneath, if you actually flip it, it would be the material that you would find on the outside of a hoodie. I guess I was excited about it just to like see it in hand because it looks so fuzzy and comfy, but I honestly prefer this side of my hoodie on the inside. It's just not as comfortable having the outside material that's typically on a sweatshirt on the interior just because it's not as fuzzy. It's kind of rough to be honest with you. And then let me see if you can see that tag. So you can see the green on the interior there when it's flipped. Uh, but I think you can wear this reverse, but I think honestly, it's better to just have it inside out because the Supreme logo isn't backwards where it is on the inside. And of course you can use the pocket. It doesn't really have a reverse pocket. Let's test it out. Yeah, there's not really a reverse pocket that you can use. So I think this is meant to just be inside out this direction. Then my most excited piece that I copped today was the Cactus Plant Flea Market Taurus Bomber Jacket. Uh, this is so cool. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to fall in love with this until I had it in hand, but I mean, this is really high quality. For somebody who lives in New York, you would understand this and why it's kind of hilarious, but most people that come to New York, they have to buy the signature I Love New York t-shirt. and no one that's a local would ever be caught dead in wearing an I Love New York t-shirt, but you know, we are the ones living here and who've stayed here. Maybe you're from here and you've never left. And I feel like it's just ingrained in you that you love the city. Uh, so I think that this is just hilarious because it says, fuck them. I love New York. So it's like, screw them. Like I'm going to wear this anyways. And it's got this really just sick Statue of Liberty patch on the back. It's massive. It actually, is the length of this entire bomber jacket. I got this in a size small, just for those of you who are wondering like what the size ranges that I got. And I feel like it does fit a little bit on the oversized. And then on the front, we've got a really cool patch. It's massive with this really cool S logo in white and red. We have an Infinity logo on the side here. Again, like the patchwork is so amazing. I'm shocked at the patchwork that they've added on here. And we've got Supreme NYC 1994 on the front there in white. And on the other side, we've got 94. So really cool jacket, especially for somebody who lives in New York or even a tourist. I mean, I think this is sick if you just so happen to be in town and you were able to cop one of these in store. It's just so unique and different. And of course I love 
cactus plant flea markets collaborations that they typically do. And this is just a really cool one that they did with Supreme. Just double check the price tag on this bad boy oh yeah and this was 3.98 for those wondering what the price point was on the jacket all right so now let's get into some sell-out times so looks like this uh tourist varsity jacket that i just showed you sold out the fastest specifically in that double xl which seems to be kind of the trending size that goes the quickest followed by this uh, sweatshirt. Looks like I was onto something. People love the two color choices that I went with with my in-store pickups. Um, but again, in that double XL uh, size range, which again is typically the fastest size to go. Um, so then it looks like the red colored hoodie in the double XL went in 30 seconds, followed by the gray and red, which went in 38.7 seconds. And then more of this green color scheme, but in other sizes, the large and extra large in around a minute. Uh, and then followed by a couple different size variations in that varsity jacket. So an extra large went in a minute, um, followed by again, the olive tone in a medium and then the red and gray color. So it looks like the olive, the light heather gray and red were more of the popular colorways for this inside out box logo hooded sweatshirt. All right, so now let's talk about how some of these pieces are doing on the resale market. All right, so we'll start with this inside out box logo hooded sweatshirt in the olive tone. So this went for a retail price point of 168 and depending on your size, it's going between 230 to 300. So a little bit of a up sell on the resale market, uh, just because again, it is a box logo. Um, and I do think that the olive tone is doing pretty well. As far as the varsity jacket, that's the tourist cactus plant flea market jacket that uh in the black colorway uh retailed at 398 and it's currently going between 500 to 1100 depending on your size all right everyone that is it for supreme week five thank you so much for tuning in my name is marissa hill this is shade tv we will catch you all on the next episode